Hello, family and friends. Welcome into your daily love reading. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. All right, we got a couple announcements to talk about before we get started. All right, um, so you guys know that we are open for personal readings. All right, there's a couple of decks that you guys have options in choosing from. They're going to be treated just like a pick a pal rooms. There's a love spread available. There's a couple things and other options that's going to be also coming up for your personal readings i will be posting every other day or so on a community board if you want to go ahead and take a look at the decks that are available for you to pick if you haven't already disney hocus pocus the sexual tarot and golden girls are the decks all right guys they are zoom readings fyi you do not have to have your camera on to connect with me just your audio okay guys so you can hear me you can chime in you can listen um whatever fits for you all right now we are also have our other channel ready for you guys open and available arian only placement aries only placement all right so if you have an arian placement a specific Aryan placement or if you are an Aryan even connecting to an Aryan you could be a cross watcher that is fine you will be pulled and connected to that channel go ahead and take a look at it all right now let's go ahead and jump into your daily message get us some daily bread all right we're going to split this deck open and see what the overall energy is please thank you damn first of all someone here didn't know about your spirituality this could have really like shocked somebody what is this? Yeah, because they've been watching at a distance. This could be someone here. Um, They could have got distance because of your spirituality. Now, um, others of you guys, this is someone here um, that had secrets. That's why they got distance. That's why they pulled away. We got release. Mama Yama's y'all's here. Yeah. Some of you guys could um, be a son or daughter of Mama Yama's y'all or an avatar. And we have enlightenment. Yep. Mm -mm. That's why they released. Uh, release this situation all right let's see what else is going on here they said split out the deck so we will what is going on oh, beautiful universe and holy spirit that's just for the collective thank you this is scared them you could you could have scared them so we got we have focus and cleansing um boundaries yeah honey they put boundaries up now this could be so you could have been like killing yourself you know doing your thing enlightenment and fertility yeah after this person got enlightenment about this new growth now this person does see you as an inspiration they see that you reinvented yourself or something like that and they're happy mama yamaja is here about what you created but doesn't mean it doesn't make them nervous um, um, some of you guys, you know, you could be like, um, at different standpoints with this person, you know, look, I don't believe in what you believe in. This is not how I want to do this relationship. This is not how I want to do things. All right. We have, um, yeah, this emperor. Arian Virgo energy is there. Piscean. Um, this person is trying to be real brave. Uh, courage? Yeah, and get the courage here. Um, but this is, uh, they could see you as someone, it's like you're dangerous because of what you know, what you can feel for some of you guys that are empaths. You're very intuitive. It's like, how the fuck is you this intuitive? Six of ones and a king of swords, yep, so they, they, they cut you off. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, this person knows that you could see straight through their bullshit. That's an old saying. I can see right through that shit. Whether you're an empath, whatever, it's like, nah. I am picking up what you laying down, and I'm seeing it for what it is. It's just that you're not getting over on me, honey. I see you. I can see you. I need you to stop playing with me. All right? This person knows that. You can see them. Yep, five of swords, and they're trying to figure this shit out, the tarot card. They wasn't expecting this shit. Yep, the hangman. Now they feel stuck, honey. You didn't caught they bluff you. If you on my channel... We enlightening this moment. You didn't call they bluff. We're going to hit a damn it moment. Because this person has had a damn it moment. 
Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, yep. Now, for some of you guys, uh, while this person is hanging on, while this person is stuck trying to figure out how you know, how you figure it out. Now, for some of you guys, the high priestess you talking to, not only is you empaths or light workers or star seeds, you up here, you on my channel, so you know we are having spiritual conversations, and they want to know, how the fuck, how is you? Quit talking to the shaman empress. And when she hum, don't listen to that shit. That's what this person is saying, because you know too much. How are you getting all this information? How do you know this? Nah, do you know somebody? And what, who, something like that. Now, for others of you guys, while this person is hanged out in the back looking crazy, trying to figure you out, you got some somebody else trying to make you an offer you got somebody else peeping at you wanting to see what you about what's going on over here yeah the four of cups now i just what i think for some of you guys you are so caught up on your ex from the past you're stuck on this person you might not be seeing this new person here and this is someone that wants to make you this is the ace of pentacles this is a big offer this could be an earth bender Sasorian, capricorn or virgo or leo they want to make you a big offer Someone here could feel like, damn, I'm standing right here in front of your face. You, yep. I'm standing right here in front of your face and you don't even see me. Five of swords and a six of wands. You have vic victory and success with somebody, but your mind is somewhere else. Yep, the higher fun. I cannot make this shit up in the five of cups. You're disappointed about this other relationship that you don't see a new offer that's right here. And this looks like a good offer. Ooh, the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. This is someone that wants to offer you, but you can't see this. Yeah, because it, some of you guys, you know what? It's it, it might be time to stop. You know, you got an enlightenment. It looks like you got the answers that you needed. And you know what you got to do. Um, and you know what choices you may have to make. Five of Swords. To be victory and successful. You know this. But you um, might have to, you know, start letting stuff go. Ten of Swords. Um, because you you got somebody new here that the universe is trying to bring in for you. But you keep holding on to, to the past. Let's get an angel number and we'll go a little deeper. So we got four, five, six, five here for you. All right, angel number 4565 is a reminder to be true to yourself and express your inner being in all aspects of life. Yeah, for some of you guys, you know, I mean, you know, first of all, we family, I'm going to talk to you. It might be time for you to accept a cycle. And if this person is not going to change, if they keep wanting to figure out how you figure them out, how the hell you keep connecting to the Shaman Empress, a.k.a. the Shaman Hummingbird, how the is you keep connecting to your intuition and figuring me out, now i got to figure out another way around this situation, because you keep, this is somebody that just wants to keep being sneaky, and you might have to accept that. That's why the universe is bringing somebody new in, somebody that you deserve this Ace of Pentacles to the higher front. This is a good relationship coming in. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to have to be careful, too, because you could be bringing your old relationship into your new one. Okay, we got Tessorian also, also here, Scorpion here, Virgo energy, Arian, and Tessorian energy. Uh, someone here could also be a cusper sign, this new person. But, um, and that's just what it is. This is someone, the universe that is, this is, the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, I cannot make this up. But you're going to have to start letting go of this betrayal, uh, the depression, the past, so that energy doesn't manifest in this relationship. Um, because see, what it is, is some of you guys are intuitive and you are what you attract. You can also attract somebody that's intuitive and they can pick up that you could still be you know, on your ex, whether it's the man or woman, you know, are you still, you know, thinking about, you know, I like you. I think we, we cool. Six of ones are five of swords, but are you over your ex? Because they can pick up on it. They can see that you're still kind of stuck. Um, don't bring up things from the past. Don't compare this person. Oh, my ex used to do that. Oh, my ex used to like that dog. No, I don't do that. So let me talk. Like, make sure we're not, you know, always, it's okay for somebody to ask, what was your last relationship? Relationship was like, well, what happened? Why are y'all together? Just make sure you're not prolonging because if you bring it up before, oh, yeah, let me tell you what else they did to me. Oh, yeah, let me tell you what else happened. Then it's going to start throwing that red flag for somebody here. Now, let's look at this new person. Uh-oh. Hold on. 
We are flipping decks. We are flipping decks. Let's look at this new person, this Ace of Pentacles. This could be also someone here that is um, well known for what they do. Or they're starting to be well known for what to do. Someone here, um, they could be somebody where certain people know what they do. Is uh, it, um, that it could be a big deal, but they like, yeah, they just confirmed that for me. But they like to keep it low key, they don't like everybody to know what they do or how much money they got. This is someone here that wants somebody to kind of like date them for them, connect with them for them in a relationship, not based off what they have. So, this is also somebody that could have boundaries, okay? All right, let's see. Show us, show us the ace of pentacles. We're gonna look at this new person here. What's going on with this ace of pentacles? Oh, you might meet this person around Christmas time. Yep, that's the five of swords. This is someone here that got a plan. This is a business orient oriented person, but this is someone here. Um, they're watch what you say. They're watching. They're looking. Look at this. first of all, don't you look in this person's eyes? Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone here. They look you dead in your soul. Dear your ass to lie. Do you still like that person? Or are you still caught up on that person? Or are they still making you angry? They'll know what they see. They'll see it. And they'll leave you in the five of pentacles. This can also be like an argument. Five of ones in the five of pentacles. Like, you know, um, it just seems like someone here is, could be... Feel, someone here that you're about to meet is going to feel like you're still on your ex. This could be a warning. This could be your guides and your spirit guides trying to tell you, you know, you, it's time for you to change the way you think. It's time to let certain things go because we got something better for you coming in. Yeah, four swords. You've healed enough for this. All right. Now, for others of you guys, this is somebody that do got a temper. Just so you know, they done did some jail time before, too. Just so you know, the tarot card and the eight of swords. Um, this is also someone here that lost money before and had to gain money back. Um, and they don't, they, they're, they're not playing about their time, about their investment. You know, they, they don't mind spending money, but it's like, you know, they want you to be serious about the relationship. Um, this is somebody here. If they feel like you have cheated them out of time and money because you are still on their ex or you're still on your ex or, you know, cause it could be vice versa. The energy can fluctuate back and forth. They'll start an argument. It'll be a, a big ass fight. This is also somebody to be, so, you know, um, they take their shit back. Yeah, honey. Uh-uh. You ain't gonna leave me on the five of pentacles. They want their teddy bear back. Uh, that chocolate, old-ass chocolate they brought last uh, Valentine's Day back. Um, them old-ass slippers they brought last year that you didn't wore a thousand times. They got all kind of Kool-Aid and shit all over them, whatever. They'll take their shit back. All right? Um, because they feel like they've been brought from their time. They've been brought from their energy. All right? Uh, what's the five of swords? And why did that come out twice here? The King of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Because this person here, now, uh, yeah, because if this person it starts um, to feel like, you know, you are not into it the way they are into it, if they're not at least getting 50% from you, um, they'll flip on you. Um, this is someone here is not, you know, they're going to put up boundaries after they say how they feel. This new person, so you know, if you're already interacting with this new um, new person, this is the uh, King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're going to tell you how you feel. You know, certain people, if, when they feel betrayed, when they feel used other time, they might just ghost you. They might not say nothing and just end it. Not this person. This person will argue, fight, take your stuff out. You, they're going to give you a taste of their mind and let you know how they feel. Yep, for leaving them out on the five of pentacles. They're not, they're staying with that two of pentacles, yeah, and juggling again. All right. Um. Yeah, so let's see what else we need to know about the situation here. Uh oh Lover. This is a new lover coming in. Oh my, yep. I told you, a rich man, this could be, this person got money. This is someone here, you know, they might even rent stuff for you, rent cars for you, give you things. So just know, they, this when they get mad, they'll take, this is also someone that got a temper. When they get mad, they'll take it back. Yeah, honey. So you know that. I told you, this is somebody I've been in jail before too, honey. So you know that. Yep. But you are the good lady. You are the good lady. They said meet their child. So this someone, this person, this rich man could have a small child that they want you to meet. Big luck. There's someone here hit big. 
How this could even could be the lottery. Yep, they did. Uh, for, for some of you guys, to be honest with you, they had. Someone here got money out of a will, widower. This could be a family member. This could be somebody that passed away that was sick that they was even married to. Um, here, it was good fate. Uh, God was on their side. The good Lord here and luck was here. And they got, this is how they got their money. This is how they came into um, their money. But um, they could have also a small child and they want you to meet the small child. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you guys some letters here. Oh, I just saw L. All right, so we got the letter W. Archangel Zakiel, Organization, Ritual, and Magic. We have um, F. This is the thing, though. For some of you guys, you manifested this. You know, that's white magic, by the way. Alchemy is also white magic. It's all on how you use it. Third eye chakra. Some, I, someone here as well. This is also a spiritual person. All right? Okay, guys. Yeah, so this is someone here that is spirit. I told you, yeah, someone here. This person could be spiritual. Yep, they could see things. You see the five of swords. And this is someone when they, um, you know, in this deck, this five of swords, you see how it's like when they see something off, see something off, putting about the relationship, their eyes get big. They'll keep their thigh eye on it so to speak and um then they'll start thinking and questioning you you know what i don't know what's wrong with you they'll pick a fight they'll fight with you um when they're mad they'll do the same thing you know oh give me this back get uh, give me back my phone you need to be careful this is someone here that could have money this could be also something you need to know about this new person you know ain't nobody perfect so for me when we read here we read all the everything i'm not just gonna give you the good shit you know for you know and not give you um the whole right now, I know other readers do that. Yes, it helps with clicks and views and all that shit. But I believe in keeping it a G. I believe in keeping it real here so you know that. This is the downside that you need to know that this person deals with. They might also have to heal this about their self. They know they got money. They want this money. Um, for some of you guys, this is through a death. This is somebody um, that will definitely uh, use money to control the situation, magic, to make it work for them. So be careful. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, no, you got it. Oh, no, I got it. And then when they get mad, it's mine. I want it back. Just so you know, honey. All right, let's get the written messages. I will always love you no matter what. Yep. Now, for some of you guys, uh, your ex person, your ex is like, I'm always going to love you no matter what. Um, because they know you're moving on. We're going to leave their ass right there. Now, for some of you guys, this new person is like, um, is somebody is like, once they establish love with you, y'all always have that bond. What is the written messages here? Show me the written messages. Thank you. Please forgive me and reverse here. I pulled away because I am overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. This sounds like an excuse. You have two energies here. Um, so you know, you know where to put them. I'm not ready to face the truth. Someone here is not ready to face that you are moving on. You are fighting. You are putting your energy somewhere else. You know what they say, when I fight for something, it's because I see value in it, because I see worth in it, and it's worth fi fighting for. When I get quiet, when I shut down, don't say nothing, I'm done. Somebody here is seeing that, and this is your new person. Um, this is someone here that is like, look, can we start over? Your ex, by the way. Can we get some message from this new person? person as well because i feel like that's from those are from your ex i'm trying to move on and it's painful now for some of you guys this new ex could also be trying to move on from a situation as well from their past that's painful what is this i want things to work out but they want things to work out with you I did not my feelings for you. This could be also someone here um, that's not ready to tell people about, you know, you and them. Um, not ready to let everybody know that they got feelings. They have met somebody. Now, be careful because they might still have a little connection um, 
to their past. Now, you guys know the laws of attraction. We are what we attract. So, if you still have residue, like energy um, from exes and shit like that, then you could be attracted to somebody that still that also has similar energies. Okay. All right, baby. Now, let's go ahead and get this love oracle because we you got new love to be healing and working on when you get off of here, okay? Because this is a commitment coming in. This person wants a commitment. Oh. Oh, shit. I told you. This could be a promise ring. They said promise ring. Um, This person is deeply affected by you. Yeah. Bond. I told you. They like, they get, you got a bond. They ain't their feelings, y'all. So you didn't got you didn't attracted you a firecracker just like you, baby. Damn it. <laughs> now for some of you guys, don't bring this old energy into this energy. Okay? You know they what the ancestors say, don't you open one door before you close another one or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying. Um just be clear when you're ready to start and it's what you want, um, make sure you give this person proper energy. Or they're gonna show their ass anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and um, get you guys a little bit of runes here. And we'll read your oracle vibration. Ooh. Uh-huh, so we have Saturn. Someone here has already learned some lessons. I told you this is a cycle that's already that um, coming in. We have Venus here. Yeah, yep. For some of you guys, you are Venus. Um, this is a cycle that's are coming in because you completed something. There's changes coming in with Uranus. Some of you guys are not looking forward to the change, and I see that because you still could be expecting this X. Don't miss out on something that God might have right in front of you, all right, for you guys. Justice. Justice is coming in, honey. Um, you you don't see this. The moon is here. This could be also something that came through uh, the new moon. Uh, comfort and pleasure is coming in. Yep, because you've learned enough lessons to get this new person, to get this new cycle, to get this new thing coming. Chariot, I can't make this up. And here they are coming in to make some kind of communication to you. Mysteries and secrets, yeah. Now, for some of you guys, you know, um, you still have a secret crush or you are holding on to your past. Yeah, you are. You're going to have to um, cleanse out that energy, especially when you are manifesting and manifesting in relationships because you don't want that to um, manifest in your new relationship. All right, so your verbal oracle vibration um, is going to be uh, boundaries, okay? Um, so this is the Greek goddess of war and protection. It's leaping you into your life right now to help you establish Boundaries. Boundaries are one of the greatest ways you can take care of yourself. Remember to draw clear ones to protect and preserve your inner spirit. Make sure you guys are also putting up healthy boundaries because there also is like, um, you know, like I said, this X energy is still here. So just be someone here, you know, you moving on just when you move on. That's when your X likes to pop up. If you guys know anything about energy, then you know as soon as you're about to make a move, energy moves. And that's why it happens like that for the most part. And be careful of that energy coming in. And then that's how it kind of slides in this new connection and this new relationship. And um, there it gets a little fickle, okay? Because you got this new person and they like you, honey, and they coming, all right? Whether this is a man or a woman, they see you and they're coming. I love you. Stay dope. I hope this helped you out in a lot of ways than one. Congratulations and a good luck on your new relationship, guys. Don't forget to connect your frequency and your energy to your tarot readings, liking, subscribing, sharing, uplifting each other down below are all energetic donations to the channel and it also keeps you tapped into your messages all right stay dope and i will catch you in your next video up below baby i'll show you name